So to start off, let's have a moment of silence for a, uh, a fallen piece of gear. My Gens Benz uh, 9.2 shuttle uh, bit the dust, literally, a couple weeks back. Uh, in a, uh, it got ran over by a car by accident. But now I have the Eich TR900. Uh, my friend Jorg Schroeder of Schroeder Speakers uh, hooked me up with Eich uh, a couple weeks back. Gave me a really good deal on this beast. And uh, I've been playing with it now for two weeks and it has absolutely blown me away at every checkpoint on the list for an amp head. Um, it's extremely lightweight uh, at four and a half pounds, thousand watts. It's just beastly. So let me walk you through the front part of this real quick. So the input, we have your standard 10 dB pad for active passive bases. Uh, so all this, all the knobs along this thing are really nice solid, you know exactly where they're going to stop. They're not going to move. Everything's just built like a tank. Um, gain, uh, built-in compressor with a fast, slow switch for however you want your squish to release or anything. A taste knob, which as far as I can tell is more like a, a tube emulation. I still don't know exactly what this does yet. So forgive my ignorance. <laughs> uh, four band EQ, low, low mids, high mids, and a high with switchable mids for 250 to 400 and 800 to 1200. Uh, a low frequency and high frequency boost like the Ampeg high and low boost, but like 10 times the epicness. A uh, rock knob, which adds a bit of distortion to the mix, which if I unmute it, you can here come through the speakers. I haven't played too much around with this yet, but it's a really cool feature. Master volume with the ground lift above that and your DI out front, which is, as my sound guy says, the cleanest DI he's heard yet. So that's impressive. just want to point out that there is no microphones anywhere in the room besides my vocal mic. Uh, the only thing we got here is the DI just to really show off the amp not the speakers. So uh, I will apologize I'm not an expert on this as of yet. I've only owned it for like two weeks and haven't had a lot of time to play with it but I figured out a cool couple few things and all that. So right now I'm just going to play it uh, flat, minimal compression, minimal volume and everything. So that's that. Fender Jazz Bass, just so you know what's going on. Uh, I do have the concentric stacks so I can get a little bit more out of it than a normal Jazz Bass, but you get the idea. <clears throat> anyway, here's perfectly flat. Tone off. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's mess around here. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Let's do the low boost and the high boost. Give it a nice little, you know, smiley face. It's almost like a good kind of Marcus Miller. Really. That's 
not bad. Hmm, cool. Now let's see if we can switch it up. Let's see. Roll everything off. Keep that up. Roll that back a bit. Just a little bit more fresh in. Nice. Get a good burp going, yeah? figure out the other day that's uh, <clears throat> kind of fun. I'm gonna switch these back so I remember what I'm doing. Uh, well, I'm both down, taste up a hair, rock up about 50. Yeah, that looks about right. So on the bass, we're gonna go front pickup tone all the way up, back pickup tone all the way off. And to me, kind of gets a good like Getty Lee growl. <laughs> Something else everyone kind of knows. I'm just turning everything off. Turn Calm down, cameraman. Mute. So, yeah, jazz bass. Everyone knows a jazz bass. Everyone loves a jazz bass. Everyone also loves a P bass. A Benevente Super P. It's still a P bass. Don't mind this. I'm not going to turn this pickup on. It's just going to be the P. <coughs> so. Let's see here. P, tone off. Taste, a bit more lows, cut the highs, let's hit the boost for, you know, why nots. So we can get like some hip hop or pop stuff mix here. This thing has built-in overdrive, so let's give that a try. I'm new to this. I could go on with this forever if I actually had the time to sit and tinker with it, but right now I don't. So, Ice TR900. It's uh, for me, 
a home run for an amp head. It's out of the park. This thing's great. So hope to see these guys at NAMM.